Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I'm going to share with you a rainbow fish project that we do during our, our fish theme and it goes along well with the book Rainbow Fish. Uh, you'll need to have uh, tissue paper cut into circles. We use lots of different colors of tissue paper and again those are in circles. This pattern which can be found on my website at ChildCareLand.com underneath the video section is printed on cardstock paper and then it's also glued to colored cardstock paper, so it's nice and thick and durable. Besides the tissue paper, you're going to need to have uh, cut up aluminum foil in circles. So what I do is I just take my tin foil, I fold it over a couple times, and then I cut the circles out of that. So you're not cutting individual circles out, so that really saves on the time for that. And you cut those out, and those will go on after you put the uh, tissue paper circles on. It's up to you how you want to do this. You can have these already set out for younger children in a, in a plate like this with a pattern. Or for older children, they can maybe try and cut the circles themselves out of the tin foil and out of the tissue paper. All right, so I'll just do a few of these for an example. So once you have the fish glued to the card cardstock paper, you want to take the glue and just put dots all inside the fish which is where the children will be pressing the tissue paper on to make your colorful fish. And now for children doing the glue, you just want to encourage gentle squeezing, not really hard, because as we all know, we've all been there where the glue just oozes out and creates a big puddle. And if that happens, just wipe it off with um, some extra paper towel and everything should be fine. And then the children would self-select the colors of tissue paper that they'd want to put on their fish and they would fill in the whole fish. And this is excellent for fine more skills development. The uh, tissue paper is very thin. They have to pick it up, separate it with their fingers. And you will find that some children, um, depending on how young they are, do not like the feel of glue. So um, have some wipes on hand or let them wash their hands frequently if they need to do that. And you just again just fill it all in like so. So but I'm going to go quicker than you know most children would because of the time of this video. But this is one of those projects that's really just kind of neat. You know, every child's fish will be different. They choose the colors that they want to put on. Some may only want to choose to one use one color. Some may want to use all different kinds of colors. So maybe. As a review or an extension of this activity, you could walk around and ask the children what kind of colors or tissue color tissue paper they're putting on and see if they can identify the colors of the paper that they're putting on. Or when you're done, how many tissue paper circles did they put on? See if they can identify how much they did with that for counting. So there's lots of variety of things you can do um, with this project. And again, um, separating them is a challenge sometimes. And that one's got too long, we'll just move that one over. Like that. And then once you have the tissue paper um, on your fish, you're gonna glue your your tin foil on and it makes it more like the rainbow fish story. It's pretty. Put that one right there. Alright, well I didn't fill in as, as good as I probably should have, but um, I didn't want to make this video too long, so we're going to put dots of glue around, again on top of the tissue paper, and then you would just take the tin foil and uh, separate these again like you did with the tissue paper, and then you would stick that on top of the fish. This one's got two, and you would let this dry, and there you have. A rainbow fish. Two more, one more we can do right here. For a rainbow fish, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and thanks for watching.